Um, is there any advice you can give to sort of people your age with regards to, you know, training? Because obviously you need a lot of, you know, oh, when you think well, of, of yes. the motivation that you have to, you know, because it's, it's it's really an important component to your life, isn't it? Well, it's the centre of my life in lots mm -hmm. of ways now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what allows me, keeps me fit and healthy, allows me to do all the other things I love to do. Yeah. Just you know, composing and, and, and all sorts of things. And plus, I think a lot of people don't realise that the mental mm. well-being on that mm. exercise gives us, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely important. I mean, I've been a bit prone to depression and anxiety, and mm -hmm. I found that's helped enormously yeah, yeah. by being more physically active. I'm also, you probably see, I'm, I'm very keen on memory joggers. I've got a bit of Alzheimer's in the family, so yeah. I'm trying to keep, uh, trying to keep fit and do my best. And Annie, what's that? What's that, 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 that organisation you're raising, you're raising money for? Um, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Which is about depression and suicide. I've also had experience of suicide in a very close family, and so I'm very keen on that. Experience. And how long have you? How long have you been um, raising funds for that? Oh, I've been raising money ever since I started competitive running, and I've. I've, I've been on several different organisations, but uh, the ones I like most are to support are Alzheimer's and, and uh, are you okay? Yeah, and there is some research that, you know, the vascular Alzheimer's, you know, can be due to, you know, circulation Absolutely. issues. And when you think yes. about the, you know, the heart pumping up to the brain, it's the, it's exactly. going upwards, so it's a difficult organ to get to. Yes, exactly. And when you think of the periphery, those brains, those branches of the, you know, blood trying to get to the end, End of, the, yes. end of that sort well, of Well, two things. I mean, you taught me, Martin, um, that the heart is the most important muscle in the body yeah. by far. But the other thing I've learned since I've been running is that oxygen is the most important thing we can nutrient yeah. we, give our, we give our whole body system. Yeah. And the thing about running is that you get a very big uptake of oxygen very quickly. Yeah. And there's, it, there's probably no other sport, which will perhaps our one or two, but running gives you a really maximum amount in a very short space of time. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I think it's so good for health yeah. in general. And, that, and the, the oxygen gets carried by the blood, and so exactly. you, you've got to do the cardiovascular exercise, exactly. you know, in order to get the blood to those peripheral areas. Absolutely. And there's a very good, I was at a physiotherapy conference recently, and there was a, a professor, I think she's from New York, who's at Sydney Uni, and she was talking about the, you know, Alzheimer's, and, mm -hmm. and she showed a, the peripheral of the brain, the outer cortex being damaged, and mm -hmm. she, she did some great research on weight training, mm -hmm. and saying how, you know, the size of your, your mm -hmm. muscles, assuming it's legitimately built, yeah. it can correlate to the size of the brain, and how important strength exercises were, yeah. and how important cardiovascular, because it makes sense if you're... Well, you're, indeed, as you get older, I think it becomes more, not less yeah. important. Because yeah, you, you want a quality is, yeah. of life. I mean, I don't think you. I honestly don't think you necessarily stave off the Grim Reaper. But what well, you, you do can is slow you give the yourself, process down. You can slow you? the process down. But the most important thing is that you give yourself a quality of life. Yeah. That once you start, you think, yeah. why wasn't I doing this yeah. ages ago? I mean, I'm feeling fitter now yeah. than I did when I was. But it's not. It's not easy though, is it? I mean, you have not to. Not easy. Well, well, it's, it's, it becomes easier. I mean, the more you do it, the more you enjoy it, yeah. um, the easier yeah. it does become. But it's not easy in the sense that it's high, it requires a lot of discipline. But it's also, it's also helpful if you've got some peers. Support. You need support. And, and, it's a team. And it's groups a team. that you can try. And I think some of the times when yeah. some of the fun we have exercising here yeah. in the mornings yeah. is, is, a, is, is, a, is a, as we say back home, it's a great crack. And, but it's nice to have that camaraderie and, and yeah. a spirit de corps I think that, um, that people people do there. But I think yeah. I think you probably, you know, hit the nail on the head with regards to the Alzheimer's and the well being because all the national health and medical research shows that, you know, cardiovascular disease is still the biggest killer and strokes in Australia and yeah. And, and to yeah. prevent them, you need to do cardiovascular yeah. exercise, and you need to do weight training. And women need to, you yeah. know, for the bone strength. Yeah. yeah. And if you're just doing passive stuff, you know, people, a lot of people just do yoga and Pilates. And while I think they're both great, they shouldn't be your main bread and butter. I think you need. They a should cross, be. Yeah. They should be the icing on yeah. the cake. Yeah. So when you've done all yeah. the work, then yeah. a nice stretch class or a Pilates class or a yoga class can be, yeah. can be wonderful. But you have to, yeah. you have to take the guidelines if you wanted to. And yeah. I think you're. As you say, with the, with the with the depression and and the suicide, it's a it's a it's a big issue in Australia. It it's a big, a big issue. issue. It's a big yes. issue around the world, yes, isn't it? And, it's a big issue. And I think mental health and wellness is a is an area yes. that that we're still coming to grips with, even with the young people, isn't yes. it? So, anyway, I, I I just wanted to say I think you're a you're a shining light, and I think Thanks. you're you're a you know you're um you're a, 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 what we're looking for you're a 
an idol for people to look to in the future and I think you, you're shown us all the way you know because like, uh, you are and I think it's and what you're doing is, is, is wonderful you know it's, you're a role model I suppose that's well, the thanks, word I'm looking for yeah but as you said and, you know, it's um, a team it's a team yeah, effort it's a team you, effort and I think I think we can be born as you say we can be born with predispositions to certain mm -hmm. conditions but mm -hmm. Nature, we sort of work with it and maybe sort of keep the Grim Reaper from doing the right things with diet and exercise and well being and keeping us mentally and physically fit. We can hopefully, mm. but have enjoying a good every of life. minute, enjoy yeah. every minute of life yeah. you live more. That's, yeah. the, that's the real, yeah. that's the real um, reward. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, the advice I'd give to people who are starting out on this is take it slowly. Take it slowly. A lot of people think when they start out that they've got to go fast, and that's absolutely yeah. the wrong advice. Yeah. Running doesn't mean fast. It just means moving the body in a different yeah. way. I sometimes say to some of my friends, look, think of, especially my lady friends, actually, think of dancing. Think of dancing. Everybody can dance. We all can move our feet. And I'm not very good at it, but you know, I quite enjoy the feeling of dancing. And, and running is just a form of dancing, and we all do it in our own way, and we all do it in different ways. But it's important to take it slowly at the start. Just a very little mixture of walking and running, gradually, yeah. gradually. Yeah. But the other thing you taught me uh, specifically when I'm I was a good dancer, I was not. Oh, I know, no, no, I was not the Scotland disco champion. Oh no, 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 well, dancing. I don't know about your dancing, but but um, but but you taught me was the importance of strength of weights. Of yeah. weights. that's the I other think thing. Dan's been a critical. great. Dan, my colleague, has been a great. Oh, uh, Dan has been amazing because he's, been he's yeah. as I've got more specialised. Dan has targeted in yeah. and got me doing just the exercises I need yeah. for my particular yeah. body type and my particular yeah. um, aims in life. And Dan's been a great yeah. asset to a, a lot of our people who are training yeah. here because he has a particular interest in strength yes. and conditioning. Yes. As and they, diet as well. And diet, so he's, mm -hmm. he's very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll just finish on that. What was that race you, you got me involved in, you conned me into doing a few years ago, the one down the Southern oh, Highlands? The Southern Highlands Challenge. Yes, and so and, and said, come on down. And I, and I fancied myself being a bit of a runner, and I said, I'll do the 20K without much training. And of course, what sort of track was it, Annie? And no, it was, what sort of track was it? It was through the bush, through trails. Anyway, I hit the wall. Trails I hit the wall at about. I hit the wall at about ten k, and, and it was the worst twenty k I've ever done. I hobbled in. I'm glad no one. I think if there had been an ambulance, that had, that had dragged me off the. Uh, That's not me off true, the Martin. You came second in your age group, and you had no equipment. You had no hydration. Yeah, I've never only, seen a more ill-prepared runner yeah, go out in my only, life. There was only two of us in the group, so. No, but that, that just appreciated how, how tough that, that run but was. There were some but very, very good runners in your age group, and they were completing oh, that she's day. So much, she's so <laughs> much. Anyway, Anne, I just want to say thank you very much for joining and like sharing me. all your experiences. Thank and you. um, I wish you all the best. And when's the New York Marathon? New York Marathon is November the 5th. November the 5th. And yep. what time are you hoping to do there? Oh, I'd like to do under five hours if I okay. can. Yes, and yes. if people want to make a contribution to your organisation, are you okay? Are you okay? And that's through just they, can, they can do that on Are You Okay through Everyday Heroes. They can yeah. do that online. Online, online. Yeah. Just go to Everyday Heroes and, um, and Everyday type Heroes in my name, yeah. and, and, and Boyd, Boyd yeah. Professor yeah. And Boyd. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. That yeah. was wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks. Martin. Cool. Thanks, that was great. Thank okay. You. Wonderful.